Hey there, Julian here, and welcome to member scripts number one. So what we want to do here is save items to the member JSON from a form input. So all of this, of course, as is going to be throughout all of these resources, you should not need to edit any of this code at all. Uh, if you do, it'll probably just be something like one simple value. And anyways, let's get into it. So first of all, let's just take a look at how this actually functions. So I'm signed in right now here on this test account. And as we can see, there is absolutely nothing in my member JSON. So let's go ahead and first, just for test sake, save a full name. So let's do my name. Oh, eh, whatever. It's okay. It doesn't matter. We can do anything. Let's go ahead and save that. Thank you. Your submission has been received. Now let's take a look over here. And what we'll be able to see is a console log just saying it's been added to the JSON. So now if we go here and refresh what we'll be able to see and our JSON is our simple item was saved. So with that, now let's take a look at the second one. So this is an array. And the different here difference here is, let's just say list of friends. Let's go John, save item, it's been added. And just for demonstration's sake, let's just go ahead and refresh this and do it again. Um, let's go Josh. There we go. Now if I go over here and refresh, what we're going to see is an array just like that saved it can be referenced with different scripts at a later date then let's just go ahead and try the final one so this is a group so this for example you could use to have one individual item with different properties so here let's just say first name and last name let's save that now you're not going to want to use this to do your profiles in member stack. Um, this is just an example. Now let's go ahead and refresh. And what we're going to see is this. So profile, last name, first name. So this is one item with nested items within it. So now that we have that, let's just go ahead and take a look at how do we actually set this up. And it is super simple. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and get this script itself from the site, or of course, from this demo project. And just copy all of this over, put it in your body tag on the page or the project if you're using it throughout the site, um, but most likely the page. So anyways, save that and just forget about it. The next thing that you're going to need to do is go to the form itself and add this attribute ms-code equals form one. One is standing for the number of member script that this is. So. The easiest one is, of course, the simple item, which is this one that we have over here. And all we need to do for this to make it function after we add that attribute is go over here and then do ms-code-json-name equals name. And how that's going to actually show up is this. We have name and then the name. That's it. Add those attributes. You're good to go. Um, of course, the value of this should be whatever it is that you're actually storing. So maybe it's a social profile, whatever it may be. Um, this needs to stay the same MS code JSON name. This is whatever makes sense for your use case. Now over here, the next one we have is array. Just a reminder that looks like this. And people can just save as many things as they want to this array. So over here, We've got that form one attribute applied as well. You can have as many as you want on the same page. Um, then below here, we have ms-code-json-type, and then we have array. So this is just telling the script that we want to save it as an array. And then here, ms-code-json-list, we are just saving the name of the array. So it's friends, which as we can see here is correctly saved. So with that, all we need to do is grab our input right over here and you will need to have this attribute. It is not going to store anywhere. So as you can see here, I just have the name and the value is blank. This is just telling the script to watch this as a field. Uh, so make sure you add that and you're good to go. Groups over here. The setup for the form is basically the same as for the, as it was for the array. We have form one and then for type we have group and then list name is profile, which we can see right over here. Then all we need to do is within our form, we need to set the attributes for the field. So ms-code-json-name, I have first name, and then here I have last name. And that's it. With that set up, you should be good to go. And then what you want to do with that from there will 
is totally up to you. So, all right. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, just reach out to julianamemberstack.com and I will talk to you soon. Have a good day.